Google AdWords Conversion Tracking using Google Tag Manager. Using the latest user interface in 2018, let's go and see how we can set up conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. Following on the previous video session, I've shown you how to install it yourself on WordPress particularly. So let's press on that same campaign. And here, tag for new member sign up because I named it as such. This time, let's select use Google Tag Manager. Let's press this. Here, it's given us two very important information. One is conversion ID. The other one is conversion label. That means you can press on tags on Google Tag Manager once you're logged in. Okay, let's press on new because I'll show you step by step, right? Title obviously is important as to what you're tracking. So give meaningful names to that tag. Also, I know most people can't find this pencil icon because it's rather hidden. Unless you move your mouse over this end part of this tag configuration. Okay? In fact, remember, with most Google user interfaces, options for editing things are actually hidden, including YouTube user interface. So you need to always, you know, just move your mouse around the screen to say, OK, you know what, is there some pencil icon missing? So in this case, let's press on tag configuration. Now we select choose tag type. AdWords conversion tracking. Let's select that. Conversion ID, you simply grab the unique conversion ID for your account or your client's account and select as in copy the conversion label and place that in there as well. In our example, monetary value yeah, by default was that. Now, some people suggest to you not to put some value in there, right? But that's not smart because you're advertising dollars as you're paying for your advertisement with AdWords. If that's the case, you want to track your conversions, but you also want to know the value of that conversion. So try to read through conversion value and at least trying to use some of them. If you're a small business owner, perhaps you may say, you know what, each customer that I get for my local business, that is worth $200 profit for you, or $200 service fee and so on. Nonetheless, trying to put some value in there if you're a small business owner, okay? But what if you're running an e-commerce site and then products have different values? Then I'm afraid you need to get a hold of someone who can actually change things and set things up differently okay and if you're working for a client who says you know what i want to track my e-commerce then you need to explore how you can set different things dynamically conversion value including let's say order id each order id is usually generated dynamically for e-commerce sites if that's the case you can actually track the order id as well okay Currency code, that's straightforward. Conversion linking, leave things at default here. Advanced settings, you can definitely read more about it. I'm not going to cover them. They are highly advanced. Tag sequencing, you can actually fire tags before and after certain things happen and so on, right? But leaving things at default, let's fly through because we've got a few things more to cover. Under triggering, once again, we need to reveal that pencil icon. Here, what you can do is press on the plus sign and press on pencil icon and select page view. I think this is ideal for most setups. And instead of all page views, let's select some page view. That means, let's imagine someone contacts or buy something from you and upon that interaction they end up going to a different url in my example it's this url 
so that's why you need to work your there and it's smart to fire the event as in trigger an event on some page views instead of all of them let's select page url contains whatever the words or numbers you're tracking okay think it like this let's go to a typical wordpress site let's say you have pages and once someone contacts you then you send them to thank you page well if that's the case you can say you know what when that url contains thank you then trigger this event okay page view on confirm confirmation i'll leave it as such right it's smart to name things logically but you can also set different settings here usually contains is good enough or you can say equals then give exact url pattern here you can also use regex which i won't cover in this video okay let's save changes now basically we can press on save and this is how we set up google conversion tracking using google tag manager right but i'm going to close this out discard changes because i've already created one so let me press on that so to show you you know what you can anytime make changes to any tracking okay including adding new pages removing them it may be the case page names may change so remember you always have that option okay so let's preview let's preview as and once you submit it okay let's do this let's go on versions that's live let's look at preview share preview publish remember so you have options here right? let's preview we're previewing versions here then the easiest way is then is to visit that landing page you're tracking conversions for and refresh that page and tags fire on this page should then match the details you've provided using google tag manager remember you have different variables data layers here so on tags that's what we've created and it seems right now when a conversion event occurs according to my setup google adwords will end up tracking that conversion i thank you very much for learning with me if you've got any questions or comments use the forum to answer them and get appropriate answers accordingly and i'll talk with you in the next video session